Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly reading for June 19th to 25th. This is your weekly prediction, weekly forecast. We're going to pull some cards. We're going to see maybe what's going to be happening for the week. You can take each day individually or you can listen to the entire week where I'll do a little bit of a recap and we'll see what's going to, uh, what it's going to look like overall. We kind of put all, each individual day into their own storyline. All right. Right? So let's get started. We need seven cards Monday through Sunday. So let's see here. Okay, there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Sorry, I just want to turn them aside. I don't like it when my decks get, <laughs> when they start getting curved or whatever. Okay. And this will be a uh, Friday. Saturday. And let's go back this way. And Sunday. All right, so there, First, first set of cards down. Now we're going to bring the tarot in to go with each card. So, okay, there we have one for Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, I feel I need to shuffle again, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right. Let's get right into this. So again, we can look at each day individually or um, at the end, I'll go over everything and we'll look at it as, a, as an entire week. So Monday, we have opening to discovery and the three of swords. Mm. I feel like on Monday, maybe this is finally going to be the time for you where um, you've had a three of swords moment where, you know, something hasn't gone your way. It's been really hurtful. It's been painful. And it can literally be in anything from relationship to friendship, literally anything. But I feel that maybe on Monday, you're going to start really feeling the energy is going to be coming in around saying, you know what, it's time to let this go and to be open to new things. Look, here's a new key. I almost want to say for some of you, I do feel strongly. It is about relationship. And look, there's a new key to your heart there. Okay. So just be open to to discovering new things, new people, new places, and let this Three of Swords energy go. I think um, it's kind of feeling like you've been carrying it for a while. Okay, Tuesday, energy of endless possibilities with, perfect, the um, Page of Pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, this, I feel is going to be a financial opportunity. So whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you do, something that maybe you want to start, I feel like there's endless possibilities for you to be um, successful financially, to manifest financial abundance, um, but also that whatever these endless possibilities, it does have to do with money. Okay, let's go to Wednesday. We have willing release and ooh, the Ace of Cups now. Could say this could be tying back into uh, Monday a little bit for some of you um, still, okay? 
This is being willing to release whatever it is. See the butterfly here? We think transformation. So on Wednesday, you're going to be feeling a real need to transform something in your life. And this is going to be emotionally inspired action, okay? Because it is the ace. It is a new beginning. Always aces are, for me anyway, and for most people, we always say new beginnings. So is there a new relationship coming in? Um, is there renewed... Um, love happening in a relationship uh do you have a new creative project on the go so something here needs to be let go of so that this new inspired um passion creativity you know like i said relationship love whatever it is can come in so there's going to be a feeling um around that coming in on wednesday thursday roots of abundance and the death card okay with the roots of abundance i feel okay so this is kind of a different one we're back to transformation here so this could be happening over a couple days but we'll do the end we'll do the overall week at the end but what i really feel it's saying if you are serious about making a change, about letting something go, about letting something become dead so that it can be reborn in your life. If you're willing to settle in, to make the commitment, to ground down, to be responsible, and what else? Yeah, like I, I really feel it's, I wanna, I just wanna say responsible, to be responsible, to commit, to the transformation, it will happen the way it should. But that's the energy I feel that you really are going to be feeling that need for transformation and that need to really take it seriously and be responsible about it. All right, Friday, a grand symphony and the 10 of cups. How beautiful. A grand symphony to me is just everything is is perfect everything is in harmony everything is in balance every note is being played perfectly it's a joy to be around and with the ten of cups it's everything emotional and and music's emotional for people right so i find it interesting that the ten of cups has come out here i feel like on thursday th thursday I feel like on Friday that everything is just going to be coming together in some way for you emotionally. Everything is just finally going to gel and come together. All right. On Saturday, we have the power of purpose. Mm. I still want to talk about the whole week right now, but the power of purpose, right? Look at that. This is like um, like a target and there are, it looks like arrows here, right? When you set your mind to what it is that you want to do, okay? When you set your mind to what it is that you want to do, I feel like on Saturday, that decision, you're going to feel a strong need to make that decision. And with judgment, it can be one of two things. It can be you elevating and rising up, maybe a spirituality or religion. You're really going to take a aim here and really start working on that within your life, okay? Or it could just be you are taking aim with a goal in mind and it's with judgment, I wanna say, You've thought about it long and hard and you know that it's going to benefit everyone. That's what I wanna say about Saturday. It could be one of two of those scenarios. And Sunday, we have smoke and mirrors and the three of pentacles. Mm. So kind of ending off the week with smoke and mirrors, everything isn't what it seems. Maybe you're working with a group of people or you're thinking about working with a specific person or couple of people or group of people and you know it looks like everything should work out perfectly it looks like everything should be um you know that you would be a cohesive unit 
but there's something that's hidden there. There's something that you're not quite seeing clearly. So if you're having that feeling, trust it and maybe just review whatever it is that you want, um, that, you're, that you're thinking about doing with certain people, okay? With certain people, whether that's you're going to someone to be um, kind of like a, um, a leader or whether you're the leader and are going to have people working with you. That's what I want to say. Now, let's look at it for the whole week. I feel like it's all tying together perfectly. Something has really upset you in the past. It's really, it's been heart-wrenching. It's been painful, but you're going to be opening yourself up to discovery. This is the energy around it that's coming in, okay? And you're going to realize, look, financially, and maybe it has something to do with finances. It'll be different for each one of you. But here it's like, like I said, with that page of pentacles, it's really um, finally realizing there's endless possibilities for you, especially when it comes to your finances. But you have to be willing to release something and let it go in order to bring in that new inspired creative action. And if it's love, we can think of it love, right? Someone's broke your heart, um, It's but there's endless p possibilities out there. Maybe someone who's a little more grounded and suitable for you, but you have to be open to that new possibility. All right, um, continuing on, it's time to really get serious, whether it's in love or business or whatever, time to get serious about the transformation that needs to happen time to get serious, settle in, be responsible, get working on it. That's what I feel. And then you're coming into, okay, I realize that if I put, if I, if I realize there's endless possibilities, if I'm willing to release, if I'm willing to settle in, I am going to be successful. I'm going to get everything it is that I want here. And this is just a reminder, the power of purpose can bring you directly back to this moment, all right? If you are choosing something that's gonna work for everyone and you set your, you, you uh, aim at your target, you will be successful. The only one bit I wanna say, heads up, I don't like warning, okay? <laughs> well, you can say warning if you want to. I like, I think of these as heads up, is that, um, you know, everything seems to be going good here. Oh, so this is coming in a little bit different this time. Don't, don't get too much up in your, uh, don't, don't, because everything seems to be going well, just be careful because there's always going to be something that can come around the corner that's going to be maybe, right, sleight of hand, smoke and mirrors, whatever you want to call it. And I feel like it could have something to do with people you're working with or a leader you've chosen. So just be cautious of that. Okay, because everything else is looking really wonderful. I love that you're coming from a place of pain and loss here and everything's moving forward. So this overall is a great week. It's just be mindful of, of, of this energy maybe coming in towards the end of the week for you. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed your reading for the 19th to the 25th of June. I will see you next week.